So here's my uh, New Zealand lights. And uh, here's my buck. So we're feeding him some greens. And they get pellets and, uh, you know, for vitamins and minerals and all that stuff. And uh, this is made out of plywood. I actually bought that cage for like five bucks off the side of the road. Crazy. Built this one out of nothing. This is my dough. New Zealand white, and she'll eat all that. We gotta feed her water. And uh, yeah, just made off pile straps and paint them, cover them, reflect the sun, keep them uh, waterproof and look nice. Still gotta finish painting them, but the tops right now for sure. So they look good. But that's a good size. It's like 36 by 24. 36 by 30. So good size if she has babies. And then I'm catching his manure. And I got a rake and I'll rake hers up for right now. Until I build a pan or something for hers. And we use that for all of our gardening stuff. So trim tomatoes, not trim tomatoes. You can see all that. And this is all rabbit manure, fish emulsion. So look at that figs, little figs put in the ground. That was a cut off of a peach tree, but it was out of the uh, stump plant or whatever you want to call it. Um, squash, stuff like that. Building on little pallet fence, picket fence. I'm gonna run passion fruit along that. Keep the dogs out of there. So I have to clean up poop in the mulch. It's kind of hard. There you go. See? So I scrape the dog poop and I pull half the mulch out too. So I don't like that. Um, there's this lavender, pumpkins, melons, yeah. apples, apples, peaches, borage, just all kinds of stuff. And that's what we do, we just throw it all together, see what goes, see what works. Um, tree collar, dinosaur kale, which is, oh my gosh, this stuff is so good. Um, but plant zinnias in the bag, some sweet corn, black seeds, Simpson, beets, zinnias, squash, sweet margarine, basil. Basil that's also good. Melons. Cardoon. Cardoon that kept selling it. Well, it was sold to me as a artichoke. Well, then I later learned it's not an artichoke. My aquaponics bed. There's some uh, damn graphs of uh, elderberry, which are not working. Can get elderberry to grow for nothing so these are watered we'll pull them out some on the ground in the shade see if they go that way i, I effed them up from the get-go but uh, that was passion fruit vine but it did not grow this one's doing all right though so you got to trim all the leaves off I did figure that out. We oh, got some sweet potatoes back there trying to sprout them. There's a lot of stuff we need to do. We oh, got goldfish. Now we can see them. But I overfilled the tank so it's not draining. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can see them. Goldfish. So delicious. And this was up higher. So now it's above the water level. So it should be able to cut off. Or uh, maybe I just messed it up. I'll have to come back and fix that. Ah. Pumpkins, pumpkins. Uh, grapefruit, olive. And I do a lot of stuff with pallets, recycled wood, old pots. All that stuff, you name it. Cherry tree, pumpkins. Uh, 
for these passion fruit vine sets. So I bought two sets and one of them died. So I have three sets. So I have to cut a clipping of each one to get the set. Dragon fruit, I'm gonna start propagating that. Those are the babies. Onions. Cherry pit from a Bing, Bing cherry last year. And that shit is almost four foot tall. So, step this girl. Get my snow, snow shovel and broom, just in case. Uh, that's a silver tooth tiger skull. Yep, found that out here while I was planting uh, something. Um, what is this? Sugar cane, mints, tarragon, stuff like that. That's my tortoise pan. Get a bunch of crap started there. Crap started there that I need to move. Sweet corn, I think. More crap. Pawpaw trees. Watermelons that shouldn't have been planted in there, but hot mess. I'll, I'll get to that this week. Roses. These beets that were letting go to seed. Different figs. I got uh, 15, 16, 17 different types of figs that I'm starting. Tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Marigolds, lemon balm, cucumbers. Uh, what the hell are these? Hibiscus. Sweet corns. I'm growing like crazy. Tomatoes. Um, they're doing all right, but uh, this is sunburnt because I trimmed them when they were growing. So trim early, trim often, trim a lot. But this is all sweet corn. That's pretty big sweet corn. Strawberries, 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 strawberries. Mulch pit. Tomatoes, 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 dill. I need some more dill. Spinach, sweet corn, peppers, spinach. Oh, this is good right now, too. Mm. Yeah. I'll see that one good for us. Mm. Tomatoes, sweet corn, squash or pumpkin, Swiss chard, more tomatoes, another borage plant. Old cilantro is flowering. Oh man, the spinach is really good. Quit dogs. Um, squash, spaghetti squash. The spinach is so good, I forgot what I was calling this. Um, cauliflower, walking onion. Black seed is Simpson that needs to be cut. So we'll cut that and feed that to the rabbits. Sunflowers, romaine, sunflowers. Mustard greens, some tiny ones, more cauliflower, more cilantro. And it's all gonna go to seeds, so it'll drop the seeds right back there and it'll grow all winter long. Sunflowers, kind of guavas. Uh, watermelon and morning glory. Uh, aloe, cacti, tree collards. They're trying to go to seed. I don't know what the hell they're doing. But this is one year old and they're four foot tall. More cilantro. So we're trying to get cilantro to drop everywhere. The cilantro is good for brain and prevents uh, Alzheimer's because it reacts with um, the heavy metals in your brain. Tree collars, tree collars. My first damn marigold of the year. Sunflowers, tomatoes, tree collars, hibis. No, what are those called? Hollyhocks, melons, um, cauliflower, cauliflower. We'll see how that goes. Watermelons, bananas, watermelons, bananas, and papayas, and cherry tomatoes. So that gives a rundown of the front garden again, real quick. 
so it's all growing but um yeah gotta thin those out so we'll see you guys later thanks for watching subscribing following whatever this is appreciate it all oh, these pawpaws got a couple of pawpaw trees in here too so appreciate all of it and uh, we'll give you more updates thanks for watching